Gilliman, the Lord Commander of the Imperium. He commands legions, not armies, all thanks to Belisarius Call. But as he made a huge error by denying Call one of the greatest moments in bringing back gene seeded chapters this is what i'm going to ask you this is what i'm going to talk about today so let's jump in and let's get waffling now this whole discussion is coming off the back of the video i did the other day where i stated 500,000 new primaris marines were given to gilliman to command right at the start of the indomitus crusade there's many more on the way that was literally like the, just the first batch but another question rose from that is what about traitor gene seed is that now part of the primaris gene seed going forward and i actually want to really delve into this because this has been covered in the dark imperium series itself so i'm going to start with the quote because gilliman and belisarius call have absolutely discussed this as you can see the quotes in the background so you can read along with me this is taken from the dark imperium book when they both have that vital conversation no said Gilliman firmly. I cannot allow it. My lord, the characteristics of your brothers are too valuable to discard. The emperor's original scheme of warriors bred to specific purposes is sound and should be exploited. Under the current circumstances, we are operating with half our weapons unavailable to us. The plan is unbalanced. Putting the remaining 11 augmented primarist gene lines into production would allow for far greater tactical and strategic flexibility of space marine forces particular when working in concert i say again no do not progress any further with this research these warriors were not at fault the science is not at fault their primax were i said no said gilliman forcefully now this is a tricky subject but i actually find myself siding with Belisarius Call. I am sorry, Gilliman, call me a heretic all you want, but I think he makes the right points in this. Can I just add, by the way, Belisarius Call is one of, if not the greatest Imperial character that's currently in the new 40k narrative. He does what he wants, to who he wants, when he wants and it's all in the name of the imperium and the emperor and there's no one there there's no one out right now who can stop him he's just going forward doing his own tricks conjuring his own armies mini primarchs everything like that belisari's call is fantastic but back to the point at hand if we did follow what call is saying and put the rest of that gene stock back into the system then i personally think it could greatly help the imperium as it stands right now the imperium is literally falling apart i know a lot of people say there's hope and stuff again but we've got the fourth tyrannic war you've got uh, the great rift across the galaxy uh, chapters whole worlds strategic planets all been wiped out in a blink of an eye chaos is literally seeping into the galaxy and that's not adding like the tau the necrons the orcs the huge wars that are going on we need all the reinforcements we can get now i want to flip this coin on the other side because i get where gilliman's coming from say for example you had a primaris ultima founding called the warriors of iron or something like that and we learn they did come from Perturabo's gene stock how would that go down then with the imperial fish gene lineage and you know of course other gene lineage but mainly the imperial fish gene lineage let's say that they learn there is this loyalist chapter that is basically going around with Perturabo's gene stock would that then bring in a war in the imperium itself could the sons of dawn really ally with these could you trust these chapters fully even though you know their gene father where they came from betrayed the emperor in his most needed hour maybe this would cause more damage than it would cause more advantage for the imperium so i can completely understand where gilliman is coming from on that forefront but gilliman doesn't really have a leg to stand on because statistically 
the Ultramarines are the biggest traitors in the galaxy. Now, before you start writing my name in your Codex of Starters about a grudgin, just listen to this. We knew that the Ultramarines were the biggest legion back in the day, right? They had the most successor chapters and everything like that when they broke up. And Chaos really had no access to Gene Seed once they betrayed the Emperor. They were forced back into the Eye of Terror. So they had to like raid and capture Gene Seed and kill Marines and take their Gene Seed out. And the most of that Gene Seed they stole was Ultramarine Gene Seed. And then they corrupted it and put it into other Astartes. And, you know, they became like Blood Full of Blood God or Nurgle Marines or Slanesh Marines, Noise Marines and stuff like that. So statistically, most of the traded gene stock that's out there at this moment in time comes from Gilliman's line. This is what I'm trying to state in this video. It doesn't matter who you come from. It matters what you do. The sins of the father shouldn't be put upon the son. That is a statement that I will die on a hill for. Just because these Marines came from Lorgar doesn't mean they're going to damn themselves like the word bearers back in the day. It's the same with the Emperor's children, the Iron Warriors, the Alpha Legion, even, even, well, they still may be loyal. And also, to cut another piece from the pie, we technically already have traitor gene seed serving the Imperium. Now, for those people who don't know, the person who wrote the Minotaur law back in the day at Forgeworld, he based them off loyalist iron warriors he came out and stated it online that their gene stock is perch rabbles and the minotaurs are the biggest lap dogs of the imperium they literally lick the boots of the high lords of terror the high lords say jump and they respond how Hi, so you can argue that the Minotaurs are one of the most loyalist chapters that came from one of the biggest traitors during the Horus Heresy. And there's other stuff out there as well. The Sons of the Phoenix. I'm not having that they are Sons of Dawn. There's definitely a hint of Fulgrim, a part of them. The Red Scorpions, um, the Space Sharks there. You know, there's some debate there if Night Lords, Raven Guard, maybe a mix. There's so many chapters out there where their background, the Blood Ravens, one of the biggest ones, and they, does that come from Magnus, right? Um, that their background is coming from a traitor gene seed. And yes, it adds to the mystery, but I also think it adds to the lore as well, that now everyone should suffer the damnation because, again, their father was damned back in the day. They still want to serve the Imperium. They still want to serve the Emperor. They still want to crusade and make the wrongs of the past into rights. And just one more point before I leave, Gilliman actually did mention to himself that if Call wanted to add Traitor Gene Seed, there's nothing he could do about it because Call is Call, like I said at the start of the video. I personally believe that Call's already done it. Call does what he wants, when he wants, to who he wants, as I've already stated. So good on you, Call. You do it. Give us all the Traitor Gene Seed as Loyalist Chapters because I think you are doing the Emperor's work. Anyway, enough waffling from me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching as always. If you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, post it down below. What do you think? Do you think Traitor Gene Seed should be allowed in the Imperium, right? Or do you think it's too much of a risk to trust them, to cause inner conflicts, everything like that? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this subject. See ya, have a great day, and bye-bye.